In this morning's Money Watch, United employees with a vaccine exemption have been put on leave. They have, and weekly jobless claims likely fell to a pandemic low. At least we're hoping so. Jane King live in New York following these stories for some more. Good morning, Jane. Yes, we get those numbers in a couple of hours. So Thursday, we always get the weekly jobless claims, and we do expect those to come in at 335,000. So that would be the lowest since March of 2020. The enhanced federal jobless benefits that were so controversial, will not, the expiration of those on money will not be reflected in today's report. Well, U.S. job openings rose to 10.9 million in August. So a new record high there. That's according to the JOLTS data. That is the fifth straight monthly record high. Job openings continue to exceed available workers despite the creation of more than a million jobs in July. And United Airlines employees who are granted exemptions for the company vaccine mandate for religious reasons will be put on temporary unpaid leave starting next month. Now, the airline is citing the recent rise in COVID cases. It did last month say that its 67,000 person workforce must be vaccinated against COVID-19 this fall. In fact, United just out in the last few minutes uh, saying that the increase of COVID cases, Delta variants, can hurt its profits. So that may be why they made this move. Uh, September, living up to its title as the worst month of the year for stocks, the Dow and S&P 500 fell yesterday on we'll continued worries about the Delta variant. And it does look like we'll open lower, about 100 points down this morning. Live from the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King. Back to you. Wow, Jane, lots of good news. Lots of uh, negative news there, too. We'll have to see how it balances out tomorrow for the end of the week. Yeah. We'll check back. Okay. Thank you, Jane.